Oh, hi. hi. Uh, welcome to Anza Borrego Desert State Park. My name is Fred G, and I'm one of the uh, supervising rangers here. And I want to welcome you to this wonderful desert wilderness that we have out here in Southern California. Now, this area here, as you see, is a pretty uh, seemingly to a lot of people barren desert that doesn't have a lot of ability to support life. But we have found from our paleontologists who have been doing a lot of exploration and, uh, and in as many as 50 different digs have found a lot of fossil evidence here and some of the bigger uh, animals they've found are the mammoths. So is this that mammoth tooth you're telling us about? Oh yeah, look at the size of this thing. It's a really amazing critter, and, uh, it, but it does show you how big the animal had to be in order to have this in its mouth. But how is that possible? How could they survive in a desert like this? I thought mammoths lived in cold climates. It's true that today the Anza Borrego landscape is a desert badlands, but it wasn't always this way. This was once a lush landscape, an environment made up of rivers and streams, lakes, forest, and savanna. At that time, mammoths lived all over the Northern Hemisphere, and many mammoth fossils have been found here. Some go back almost two million years. But most of the mammoth finds in Anza Borrego show that they lived here during the Pleistocene time period, from half a million to one and a half million years ago. Throughout most of North America, mammoths lived up to 10,000 years ago. We just don't have fossil beds that young in this park. During the Pleistocene, two types of mammoths roamed these plains. The Southern Mammoth and the Columbian Mammoth. But mammoths weren't the only animals we'd find if we surveyed the Anza Borrego Pleistocene landscape. This landscape was the original home for two families of camels. The Lamini, now the llamas of South America, and the Camelini, only found today in the Old World, Africa and Asia. We know this because Anza Borrego has an exceptional and diverse fossil record that spans millions of years. Not only are plants, shells or bones and teeth preserved, but in some places also animal tracks. And in the case of camels, there have been nine different camelids discovered in Anza Borrego more than from any other area in North America. The other large mammals found in the Pleistocene Anza Borrego landscape are horses. But if we looked around this area, we'd also see birds, reptiles, amphibians, and carnivores like wolves or possibly saber-toothed cats. As we look over the Pleistocene Anza Borrego landscape, we can see that it has told its stories through the fossils found here. And they tell us that this is one of the richest records of ancient life found in North America or anywhere in the world. In fact, here we have a continuous record of life that starts five million years ago and continues for another four and a half million years. We know all of this from the paleontological discoveries and research over the past 150 years. There's a rich variety of life that you're going to find out there. Uh, there's so many different uh, worlds that are out there in the past, like way off yonder to the left, it was a river that used to run through here, and in the valley there was a lake that had all kinds of different animals and plants. What kind of animals live there? Well, when you come back tomorrow, we'll go and talk more detail about the different kinds of plants and animals that made a living out there in that environment. Cool.